This is the best tasting barbecue bacon cheeseburger I've ever had in my life. I'm calling this the All-American Barbecue Bacon Cheeseburger. And this episode was made possible by Pit Patriots. They were kind enough to send me one of their rubs and barbecue sauces, which I tried and I love it. I'm gonna use it in today's recipe. Let's get into it. I'm starting out with two pounds of ground chuck. This is an 80-20 mix. I think 80-20 makes the best burgers. You gotta have some kind of fat content in there so they don't dry out. All right, and then I'm gonna season the ground beef with this Pit Patriots America First All-American Barbecue Seasoning. They've blended up a base of garlic, brown sugar, cumin, onions, oregano, and a bunch of other spices with some uh, cayenne and black pepper. Really good, I can't wait to use this on ribs too. I think it'll go really good on some pork ribs. And this is actually meant to go with the barbecue sauce, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And I love when companies give you some options here. So you've got the wider holes, if you wanna get a lot of rub out and shake it. You've got the smaller holes. And then if you wanna measure out like a tablespoon or something, you've got that so you don't have to take the lid off. I really appreciate that. And uh, today that's what I'm gonna do. I want about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half to mix in here. So we'll go ahead and do that. You gotta love these small batch companies. You can see you've got real ground up salt in there. Everything is small batch, so it has not been sitting on a shelf for a year. So we'll start with about two tablespoons. I'm gonna go ahead and get it incorporated into our beef. Make sure it gets really well mixed so that every bite of your burger has a ton of flavor. Just mix this in. And once all that's incorporated, we're gonna add a little bit of barbecue sauce to it, probably about two tablespoons. This is really good barbecue sauce, probably the best I've tried in a long, long time. It's got a nice hickory smoke flavor. They've got some Worcestershire sauce, garlic, cayenne pepper, brown sugar. It all works together really well especially with the rub we just put in. So they pair nicely. So I'm gonna go two tablespoons, just enough to kind of give it a little bit extra moisture, all that extra flavor. And now we'll work this into the mix. Very nice. It smells awesome already. I like how it's not too thick reminds me of something that's made fresh you know so there we go all right now for the fun part I'm gonna make these into about four big old meatballs so these will be half pound each I'm not gonna weigh them or anything we'll just eyeball it as long as they're relatively close that's all that matters Okay, then get yourself a soda can or a beer can, and we're gonna make a cheese reservoir here in the center. So we're gonna push down gently, almost all the way through, and then come back and form it. Nice circle around the can. Try and get it even on all sides, so you might have to massage it a little bit. All right, next, we're gonna wrap these in some bacon. So you can kind of see the big indents for our cheese. We'll get this guy wrapped around. And I made this so big, it's gonna take two slices to make it all the way around, which is awesome. You know those all-American burgers have to be so big that you could feed two people. So there we go. Got that wrapped in bacon. Do these other three real quick and finally we're gonna put in some cubed cheddar cheese pieces which you could use your favorite I just really like cheddar on a burger or American wish they didn't have any cubes but that's all right there we go and as if this couldn't get any better what we're gonna do now is brush some barbecue sauce on the outside. So let me get some in a bowl. There we go. Here we go. 
brush the bacon. Get the top. Move this out of the way. There we go. You get to be an artiste. Just paint until your heart is content. Make sure we get it all around. And just a little dab on that last one and let's go. So I've got the smoker set to 275 degrees Fahrenheit today. We're gonna go probably about an hour. We want these to cook long enough, obviously for them to cook through and the bacon to get a little bit crispy, but not too crispy. So let's get these right in here. Get that door open and out of the way. I'm just gonna very carefully get my spatula under here. And there we go. Right on the rack. closed up and we're gonna come back in about one hour we'll check on them see how they're doing hopefully they're ready to go and then we'll build ourselves a burger and take a bite can't wait and we just hit about the one hour and 20 minute mark let's get this door open Woo. listen to that sizzle man those look good I'll guarantee you these are done see the cheese is kind of starting to brown off on the top do a temperature check. We're at uh, 150, 151, so we're getting towards a medium well. I do not like pink in my burgers, uh, so I don't mind going this high. So we're temping all of these around 150. Perfect. Let's get them out of here. that beautiful very juicy and voila let's make ourselves a burger all right so I got a toasted bun here I'm gonna go two slices of tomato some iceberg lettuce a few slices of onion now the burger going down right on top and just a little drizzle of barbecue sauce to finish it off. Put the top on. And now we'll cut this in half. Just like that. And let's see how it looks. Oh man. That's a good looking all-American barbecue bacon cheeseburger if I've ever seen one. Let me get a bite. And again, big thank you to Pit Patriots for making this video possible. This is an amazing burger. I can't wait to try it. There's a link in the description below. You can go check them out. I think they've got free shipping right now on orders over $50. So load up. You're not going to be disappointed. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, it's running down my arms. Mm. Easily, easily the best burger I've cooked. Hey, if you like what we're doing over here, hit that subscribe button right there and definitely check out one of my other videos right there and I'll see you over there. I'm gonna put a little more sauce on there. This is really good.